because I want to be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened, without my body being threatened, because I'm existing as a woman. And men are the ones making it unsafe. And I do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men, or if you feel attacked by me saying men, you are part of the problem. If you feel attacked by that, you're part of the problem. Alright guys, what is going on? Hope you're doing well. And I hope you guys are ready to hear me rant and vent and say a lot of meany stuff to this person that I stumbled upon on Twitter. So today I woke up, you know, feeling good. I was gonna go work out, but something told me to check Twitter. My spidey senses were going off and this is one of the first things I see. Men are the problem with the gaming community. Now, last time I checked, I was a man. I do belong to the crowd, that percentage of individuals, right? And I'm a gamer. <laughs> I think I qualify enough to react to this video and then for whatever reason I don't know why but if you end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing We're literally edging to 500,000 subscribers. So let's just get there. Let's do this Let's blow up the pun intended and uh, let's just get right into it. Thank you. I love you The last 10 minutes in a cod lobby is not nor has it ever been a valid excuse for men to act like pieces of human garbage in gaming I shouldn't have to play a game for all I say is hi, and the whole game is thrown, and I'm in hell for the next 40 minutes because men are being emotional about it. That is not normal, and that's not how the old COD days were, because I promise you, as a man, you have never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender. A lot of things to break down. I am old enough, I haven't hit uncle status, by the way, but I'm old enough to remember the old Call of Duty days, the Halo 3 days. 2007 i was like seven eight years old during that time so i remember it very well if people legitimately think people nowadays are toxic online not to sound like you know the same people that she's arguing against but you would not survive an xbox 360 lobby it was wild you could hear stuff that could get you locked up right now in canada for hate speech all right it was absolutely crazy i got called pretty much every slur you can think of uh <laughs> I heard stuff about black people that I've never heard before. I heard stuff about white people that I never heard about. Everyone got treated equally. They were just to trash talk, to shit talk. No one really took it that seriously. I mean, that was like seven years old, right? And I was arguing with people who were like 17, 18, 19. At least for me, I didn't take it personal. I think I know what she's referring to. There's this clip of someone playing Valorant and there's this guy threatening to R word someone that is absolutely not okay. By the way, I just want to put it out there. I do not support that. One thing to say something edgy and another thing just to say racist or disgusting vile shit to someone else there is a difference i don't know what this woman is on about about oh yeah yeah the old call of duty wasn't like that are you kidding me the old call of duty was as toxic as the og halo 3 all right 2007 2010 those three four years were absolutely madness and no one discriminated you could be a woman you could be a man you can be a fucking kid you can literally be a newborn baby and you would get trash talk back in the day and if you don't like that that's fine it's not like you're a sensitive bitch and you know you should die because of it absolutely not if you don't like that environment that's completely fine and i know how guys get when they hear a girl in voice chat they're crazy they're disrespectful and they're mad horny so i get that you know that's not fun to be a part of but being like oh man are the issue in gaming men are the gaming community sure i know there's girl gamers who are doing fantastic this got 11 million views and 2000 likes i'm really looking forward to opening these replies as a man you have never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender that doesn't happen you can say it happens you're lying i'm sorry i don't know why that's such a common thing in the comments of my videos you guys want to be oppressed so bad that you'll look at a man calling me up telling me he's gonna tell me to get back in the kitchen and say it's not a woman thing and say that that happens to you too it doesn't there's a reason that historically male dominated spaces are known for being toxic and unsafe that goes for gaming that goes for sports any male dominated space is a bad one that's not me being sexist that is me saying there is an inherent issue with the way that you guys have your locker room talk that makes everybody else feel unsafe i don't know how you could possibly find it fun to make other people feel unsafe 
I mean, that's why you have certain groups and communities, right? If you don't fit in one, you go to another one. And don't get me wrong, I get what she's saying. We can get a little toxic, we can take it a bit too far, but that's not everyone. There's some people that are kind and polite and very different. You gotta find the right community, you gotta find the right group. It's like I wouldn't fit in with your group. Your group would most likely want me crucified if I heard what you guys were saying and I belong to that group. You know what I mean? You just gotta find your own community, your own group. Not all men are like this. There's other groups of people, different types of men out there that belong to the gaming community that are wholesome and loving and supportive and we love everyone here go to those i don't want to pull the boys are just boys so let them be type shit i mean if you don't like what you're hearing just go to another one if you find it to be too toxic that's what i would do i don't know why you're acting like there's only one group of gamers in like one locker room and if you don't go in that one you're toast no and then to make gaming a safe space with sunshine and rainbows and everything but could you please be normal because i want to be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened without my body being threatened because i'm existing as a woman and men are the ones making it unsafe and i'm not disagreeing with her that men hear a voice a female voice and they, and they act like monkeys they're like woman woman play game woman in roblox woman on cod woman horny for me like i completely understand that but there's also some really chill people who don't care about that it's mostly younger people who act like monkeys when they hear a woman on stream like no grown-ass 25 year old man is going to hear a woman on voice chat and, and cream his pants unless he's a fucking loser it's mostly young people which i get it's an issue but at the same time they're teens and this is not to hate by the way but you have like 8,000 followers on twitch it's not like you have thousands of people sexualizing your body let's just keep it a bug because i'm existing as a woman and men are the ones making it unsafe and i do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men or if you feel attacked by me saying men you are part of the problem if you feel attacked by that you're part of the problem if you say just mute them you're part of the problem if you sit there and let them say that to me and you don't intervene you are part of the problem because i have a lot of male friends normal male friends who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal i understand that it's not all men. it's all men if you're bothered by this it's all men i like talking shit i like getting a bit crazy but maybe it's because i have a sister but i don't think i ever heard a woman on like halo and was like you stupid bitch go make me a sandwich you're my slave i don't think i've ever done that but i have never in my life and i swear to god i put my fucking right nutsack and my right hand on the bible to prove it that i've never said that to a woman before if you feel bothered by this, you're part of the problem. It's like, oh my god. It low-key makes me want to be horrible <laughs> and say crazy shit right about now. This is so ridiculous. If you're triggered by this, you're part of the problem, boo. Yeah, no wonder you get shit talked. You're annoying. And I guarantee you this, the male friends that she's referring to, they all want to hit on the low-key. All right, they're all waiting for that moment, but so they could smash. I guarantee you. Or like the nice guys on Reddit. My lady, I, I can't believe men these days are so vulgar. Oh my God, I hate men. Except me, because I'm a man, but I, I, I hate men. No, man bad. Anyways, you wanna let me hit? You wanna let me fuck? I do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men, or if you feel attacked by me saying men, you are part of the problem. If you feel attacked by that, you're part of the problem. If you say just mute them, you're part of the problem. If you sit there and let them say that to me and you don't intervene, you are part of the problem. Because I have a lot of male friends, normal male friends, who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal. I understand that it's not all men. But if you are not one of the men doing this, it is entirely on you to help stop the men who are. If you don't understand that and you don't understand power imbalances and gender hierarchy, it's not my place to teach you. I'm not your mother. I'm not your teacher. Close the game for five minutes and educate yourself. But stop making this a bad experience for everybody else who's just trying to play the game. I don't know, man. Just mute them. <laughs> What does it feel like I'm back in 2016 with all of these fucking idiots coming out? It literally took me back to 2016 for a second. I was like, God damn. I mean, she completely got ratioed one tweet in. No, people like you are the problem. And they put this uh, boomer ass meme. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, these replies are brutal. I mean, this low key kind of be fire. Like, don't get me wrong. I kind of see her point of view, but I think it's the way it was phrased and how aggressive it is. Men are the problem with the gaming community. I actually want to take a look at her Twitter account. What does it look like? Uh, yep. Kind of what I expected. <laughs> this person says, get good and get a treadmill and then you sail. <laughs> if you want to be in that community, stop trying to change that community. Men in gaming get targeted for everything, including their gender. The difference is that they understand it's banter and it's just fun. Three, you have mute and block button. Except 
exactly there's nothing wrong with blocking people i block people when they pissed me off there's nothing wrong with blocking people or muting people and that's what i low-key do sometimes on twitter when someone's like you know this and that you suck i'm just like i'm not going to waste my time arguing with the fucking losers so i'm just going to block them this person says i will never understand this logic i'm a woman and i've played games with rude people who say stupid shit and goes in one ear and comes out the other what is this bs about making it a safe space in these gaming lobbies ain't none coming through the monitor to our rape you hun she was probably the worst valorant player and they were like yo get this bitch out of here which is something that happens to literally everyone and i've been gaming and i've been sucking hold on that's not that kind of sus but i've been gaming and maybe i didn't do so well and they're like yo kick this fucking guy out of here but i never went online recorded a video was like men are the real problem in the gaming community it's not that serious west jet says fuck a call of duty lobby she wouldn't last 10 minutes on the trend <laughs> Nah, what the fuck? <laughs> and they're 25 years old. They're 25 years old and they're crying about someone being mean to them online. Like I said, if there's someone threatening your life and telling you, I'm going to find you, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to R word you, I completely agree with you. That is disgusting behavior and it should be banned. But telling you you suck or go back to the kitchen, those are like kindergarten insults. Anyone who threatens you with violence, real violence, not like kidding around like, haha, I'm gonna kill you but like real dead ass violence. Those degenerate fucking freaks definitely deserve to be banned. Just mute them like us men do and stop being so fragile. Like I said, I've definitely mute people before. Like if you're gonna get crazy or unknown or just say racist stuff, I mute them. This person says, you're disgusting. I wonder what this video is. No, it's over, Ina, it's over. Like if, if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. Now to give her the benefit of the doubt, maybe that's cut out of context, but I mean that with the video she uploaded, uh, not too far from the type of people you would expect that to come from. Just saying. What do you guys think? I'm really intrigued to see what you guys have to say. I, uh, I don't know. I thought I was pretty fair. Anyways, I'm gonna head out. Please subscribe, like, share. If we hit 5,000 subscribers, I will twerk for you. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.